Welcome to my pandemic grocery haul. Hello and welcome. First of all, I hope you are good. I hope you and your family are fit and healthy and staying semi-sane in these crazy, crazy times that we are experiencing at the moment. I have a feeling it's only going to get crazier. I'm going to show you my grocery shop that I have done with this whole pandemic and the virus and everything in mind. I have been, I think, um, you may see different, but I think I've been responsible and thoughtful of other people and I have tried to kind of stick to my more or less normal grocery shop. There's a few little extra things that I have bought, but there is no point in me having cupboards and cupboards full of food and other people have nothing. It's insane to me. And I have not partaken in that whole panic buying whatsoever. It's just crazy, it's crazy to me. And I will show you at the end why things like toilet roll and nappies and I haven't gone overboard and yeah I just haven't well I haven't bought any extra at all let me show you what the supermarkets are currently looking like in England at the moment it is pretty intense out there to be honest I spoke to the last time I was in a supermarket I spoke to some of the workers and just kind of thanked them really I think that like it was quite emotional she she got quite emotional i was getting a bit emotional and just like they've been abused some of these retail workers in these supermarkets and people are yelling at them and shouting at them as if for some reason like it's their fault somehow um they're working their asses off trying to get things on the shelves trying to get us through the checkouts and i'm extremely grateful to anyone you know of course the nhs workers and anyone who is working to help us all out through these times I'm extremely grateful and I think just just a little if you're in the supermarket next time you're in the supermarket just give a big thank you to them because they're working around the clock they're really working hard and they're dealing with a lot at the moment and they deserve a thank you the shelves are pretty empty I still think that there is no need other than honestly other than things like baby formula there is no need to panic by anything at all um i'm very confident that you know the supply will start coming back in of things and um and yeah it's it's crazy let's take a look at my cupboards first of all because my cupboards were pretty empty because i was going through a clear through the pantry couple of weeks where i was trying to get everything all food out of my house basically was what i was trying to do go through the freezer go through the pantry trying to get everything used up that's obviously kind of stopped a little bit because I thought that was kind of a little bit silly to continue with that. Although I am going to use all of that stuff up first before I use the new stuff. But let's get into it. We are kind of quite low on most things. So in terms of sauces, we just have sauces there. All of which are running low. Mustards and things, no problems. You can see we're, a bit, we're all right for artichokes. And so we've got three things of artichokes, some dried tomatoes and... So I've got a bit of tinned fruit over here and some nutritional yeast. And then up here, just passata, tomato sauces, some chickpeas. Not much at all, to be honest. So we do have some naan breads up there. And oh, I think, yeah, some tacos up there. So it's it's starting to run a little bit low in terms of like actual food in there there's not an actual a huge amount of actual food it's all just like sauces and things up there in here we have got a reasonable amount and i am going to continue with my whole getting rid of the old stuff first i do want to get through if maybe not all of it but most of this stuff before we start using the new stuff that i've bought we do have a little bit of pasta we've got some macaroni and some tricolour penne stuff there some noodles some beans and some quinoa rice buckwheat or a chetty all the way from italy that is we do have some mung beans bit of lasagna some arborio rice noodles cake mix some flour some more flour back here and some dried fruit so we've got a reasonable amount there to be honest and then in the drawer underneath is all kind of nuts and seeds which 
Again, is no problem. We'll just keep using through the nuts and seeds there. And then back here is various different things for uh, smoothies and stuff. What spirulina and maca powder and soy protein and things like that. So, not too bad there. The crisp cupboard, as you will see, is pretty bare back there. Not much in there at all. We do have up here little bits of cereal. No one is really eating cereal in the house at the moment. Uh, I am starting to give it to the little one just to kind of get through it and use it. And we've got a little bit of porridge oats there and some quinoa flakes. This is my freezer before the shop. So as you can see, we have been going through and it's pretty empty. All I've got in here is these are three lasagnas. We've got some frozen berries that we're making smoothies with at the moment and some bananas back there. Down at the bottom is just their Stephen's sandwiches for the week. I make them at the beginning of the week and then he just gets them out. So there are just Stephen's sandwiches for lunch. Lollies and ice cream down there. They're nothing particularly of any like food value, really. And then, oh, I'm struggle opening this one. Oh yeah, and then in here, we just have a bit of peas and sweet corn, some mixed vegetables, and a little pizza. So we really haven't got anything in the freezer at all. So. I did need to stock up. So that was everything we already had in. Now I'm gonna show you what I have bought. I bought a normal amount of fresh stuff. I did sort of think about things that maybe last longer. So we're not huge potato eaters in this house, but I did buy some potatoes. Obviously they last a long time and two bags of carrots. They will last a long time as well. Some grapes. Just because, well, Stephen's having them in his packed lunch at the moment, whether schools will continue to stay open, but we'll, they're just a normal. We go through at least two a week. Bananas, we go through a ton of bananas. We make like banana milkshakes and things. Cucumbers again, we go through loads of cucumbers. This is not anything extra. I've got four cucumbers there. Some sweet clems, two packs. It was two for three pounds, so I got two. Some wonky peppers, again we go through a lot of peppers, things like fajitas and pasta bakes and things, Plus, uh, peppers always get put in those. Some lemons, standard, some broccoli, some garlic, had run out and I am a huge, huge garlic fan. Everyone thinks I put far too much garlic in everything in this house but I absolutely love garlic. We've got some red and some brown onions because we always need onions. We have run out of them, we had none left. And a bag of courgettes. So that's the fresh stuff that I bought, which is nothing, it's probably less, less fresh stuff to be honest than I knew, usually buy. I would usually buy quite a bit of spinach or like greens, but I didn't buy any. I don't really know why I didn't buy any to be honest. I'm sure I will go and buy some greens at some point this week. <laughs> Here are all of my pantry items or more shelf stable items that I got and again that I didn't I really resisted the urge to buy more of things there's a few little bits of extra stuff that I bought that I maybe I wouldn't have done normally but I really do think that we've just got to be careful how we're shopping right now as you've seen my cupboards are reasonably empty and so I just wanted to restock my pantry this is like a normal restock my pantry I think like I say a one or two items extra but nothing crazy so i got some crisps back here they were on a offer three for three pound fifty i think i needed some red and white wine vinegar for salad dressings although i didn't get any <laughs> actual salad items so uh, that may be a problem but i just needed some of them anyway so bought those probably the baked beans i probably bought one extra of these than I would. I would normally just buy a four pack. I bought an extra beans. Tomato soup. Stephen loves tomato soup, especially since he's added braces in. He's really, really likes having tomato soup. And it was six for four pound. So I got those. Cheese. I don't eat cheese, but Stephen does. And quite often I will use it in meals for Stephen um, or like just sandwiches or whatever I probably would normally well definitely would normally just buy one but I bought two so that's an extra an extra item there some spread because we ran out nothing we've literally got like a tiny little scoop left so we needed some of that some biscuits biscuits aren't a usual thing on my shopping list to be honest but I figured I don't know what I figured to be honest I just got some bi <laughs> some biscuits 
polenta and i bought polenta this stuff is actually from three different shops it's from asda morrison's and home bargain as you'll you can see on the on the labels but i bought i couldn't get pasta at all and i was like we need some pasta if you see my other video you'll know me i was complaining about not being able to get any pasta not being able to get any pasta i thought oh, i got some two things of polenta and some gnocchi and like in the placement for sort of the pasta meals that i would normally do but then i did manage to get pasta so i've got like a little bit extra here than than i would usually and probably i would only buy one thing of polenta but seeing as i didn't think i would get any pasta that's kind of the reason why that's like that i have some couscous some green lentils some red split lentils chickpeas dried haricot beans as you've seen i have still got a few bits of beans and stuff in my pantry and this is nothing out of the ordinary like i would usually like run through all my beans and grains and everything and then once they're ran through in the cupboards and there's pretty much nothing left i'll go out and do a big shop and restock all of them up i got some some of these pasta and sauces i generally just always have a few of these in when i'm feeling really lazy or if like if i'm not eating and steven is steven quite likes it so steven has them occasionally when i really can't be bothered and then the pasta here you can see i got this big bag this was the last bag at my home bargains this big bag of pasta and then i did get, actually this is season from little so I've, there's four shops here i did like a little drive around my whole neighborhood to the different shops trying to find some stuff uh steven is a fan of shells so i got two bags of however you say that shells we call just call them shells i don't know how you say that i got three packs of eight wholemeal tortillas again that's probably overkill i probably would normally just buy the one we did get a few extra there porridge oats we're almost out of porridge oats and we do the little ones have porridge i have porridge i make oat pancakes oat biscuits they're just a really good thing to have in so yeah porridge oats I got some milks, an oat, an almond, and two soya. This isn't wouldn't be like my normal variety. I don't tend to get soya milk, to be honest, but it was like kind of all I could get. It was such a shock to go like like the UHT section of the milk. It's like it's all gone, like cow's milk and so that was just kind of what I could get from the various different shops. I am running low on sauces, like I've got no barbecue sauce left, so I've got some barbecue sauce. These, I bought, I got this one first. I normally buy the no added sugar and salt from the tomato ketchup, but I couldn't get it in the first shop. I couldn't get this 50% less, so I bought that. And then when I was in the, another shop, I saw that, the no added, I was like, oh, I'll get that. So ketchup barbecues. We are almost out of mayo and salad cream, so I have stocked up on the free from salad cream and mayo. Bake at home. Roll. Stephen likes to have these with his soup and I just thought they're handy to have. They will last a reasonable time. What's that? Should sell by these? Yeah, these last till the end of April. So, yeah, a good bread fix if for whatever reason we can't get out and get bread. I did buy two packs of parsley small as a precautionary measure just in case. We'd like, we, don't, we don't need ten packets in a household. Two packs, hopefully, will be enough. You, take, you can't get party small anywhere now, I've noticed. So, yeah, I've got just two packs because I didn't have any in the house at all. I got two pasta sauces, tomato and garlic. Uh, two passatas. We do go through a lot of tomato sauces in this house like that. Some squash. Because I needed some, we've almost run out, not just stocking up on it. Uh, Galaxy drinking chocolate. I bought this and then I found another one an older one in the back of the cupboard so i didn't actually need this but we have it anyway and then just some like little extra bits uh, that i spotted whilst i was out dried mango both me and steven love dried mango and some butterscotch angel delight which is a new thing that <laughs> the kids are loving steven and the kids are absolutely loving having that that is all of my pantry shopping baby stuff i bought one pack of nappies for each of the little kiddos not six packs each just one pack for each child is plenty we don't need to go crazy and then i did buy again i'm kind of I, milk i think not so much this stage milk because from one is it from one you can have cow's milk i'm not entirely sure 
from what the guidance is these days actually but i bought one of these i'm only halfway through the other one i did just get this one as a kind of just in case in fact did i buy two i think i bought two because it's always on offer is like two for whatever 14 pounds so i did get two but i would always get two for, to get the offer the first infant milk for the under six month old i got two of I, my thermometer over here i've been <laughs> crazy checking people's temperatures um yeah, I bought two of, of those as well. That's a little bit sort of panic buy, to be honest, because that does quite worry me. Um, I mean, not, not like crazy worry me, but like an under six month old, I don't know what else you can give them because you can't give them cow's milk from what I understand. It doesn't really, I mean, if you have to, you have to, I guess, if you can't get anything, but it doesn't sit well with their stomach so I am a little a little bit worried about this milk so I've got two of these just in case but I mean I will obviously that will last me a reasonable amount of time these are the freezer items that I bought I stocked up on <clears throat> some pizzas these are the plant-based pizzas from Asda I've taken them out of the um what's it called the cardboard just for ease to get into the freezer I got some chips, some garlic baguettes, some vegetables, just some peas or petit pois, some sweet corn and some spinach. I potentially, well, I need to stock up on more frozen veg anyway. I do like to have frozen veg in. And then just some sort of burger things for people. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I also bought one, people, one hand wash and one alcohol gel just the one i only need one of each we'll be fine let me show you why i didn't panic buy things like nappies and toilet roll i have a huge box of reusable nappies here and so that is why i didn't rush out and buy a ton of nappies for the two children in my care that are in nappies i don't currently use reusables with them to be honest i haven't asked social services how they feel about me using reusables i mean they're thoroughly cleaned obviously um but i don't know what their opinion would be of that but i'd rather someone else who's desperately in need of nappies have them rather than me when i've already got some disposables in and i have got these that i can use please excuse that fan noise i can't turn it off the reason i didn't buy any toilet roll because Look at this, in my cupboard, under the sink, look at all those toilet rolls. I have three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen toilet rolls here, a couple up on, in the various different bathrooms. That will last us over two weeks. I did not need to buy any more. I'm fine. Even at some point if we have to self-isolate for 14 days and we're getting low, I'll be able to get some, I'm sure. And if I can't, I have this bag of cheeky wipes which i'm surprised that cheeky wipes aren't running more of a campaign at the moment <laughs> to see given the whole toilet roll situation let me get them out these are reusable cheeky wipes and you just use them in place i mean you don't need to use these you can use rags if you, if you want but um you just use these and you have like a little thing by your toilet. I know it's quite, people are kind of quite grossed out by it, but we did use them for a while before I started fostering with no problems. Um, and you just like use, especially for like wheeze and stuff. I mean, I can understand. This is, this is a lovely conversation, isn't it? Poos, I can maybe get my head around a little bit that it's gross, but like for a wee, just use one of these. And then like you have a little bag thing by your toilet, a little covered over bag or a bucket and stuff. And then you just, wipe and wash them so even if you want out a toilet roll we'll be fine we got cheeky wipes <laughs> so there we go please do remember in these times to shop sensibly and responsibly and maybe look out for your early neighbors i know that now supermarkets are putting in times i think like early in the morning the first hour is for elderly people to go and shop to try and like once the stuff has been delivered maybe overnight or whatever or first thing in the morning the more vulnerable people can maybe go and get some shopping in but please you know this is a time to look out for our neighbors and make sure that everyone is okay if you do have elderly neighbors or vulnerable people that may be having to stay at home 
help them out if you can because I mean I know that delivery slots I think you can get a delivery slot for the supermarkets at the moment for two weeks or so and so let's help each other out if we can thank you so much for watching this video stay safe look after yourself and I will see you soon Bye.